Okay, so today we're going to talk about the Dragon's Fist. Is it good? Hey guys, come and join us at twitch.tv slash teamvash. We stream 18 plus hours a day and we're the most active Save the World streamers on the planet. So come and join us and be a part of the team. Not bad. It's alright. It looks really cool. As you can see, it's uh, clearly inspired by the Chinese New Year set. It's kind of uh, an unofficial uh, piece of that set. It does not drop from the Lunar Drops. It is an, an, an event store purchase only. But it is clearly a Chinese New Year weapon. Um, so let's talk about this one. What's the deal? This weapon, um, as you'll notice in my review, my gameplay review, uh, it appears to be ungodly powerful. I walk around with Steel Will Sid just completely stomping everything into dust like it's nothing. And uh, it makes this weapon seem really, really strong. And it's not bad. It's okay. You know, it's got double attack speed. Nice fast attack. Um, and it's got damage, which is good. You know, attack speed and damage is pretty cool. Uh, it's got 30% damage to stun, stagger, and knock down targets, which is uh, not great. But also not the worst. Because this weapon does stun, stagger, or knock down targets after two swings. Allowing you to get a, a good little bit of bonus damage on that target. But again, not the greatest perk. And then you have uh, landing five hits in a row on a single target causes a small explosion, damaging enemies within a half tile for 70% of the damage, which is, you know, absolutely trash. Total garbage. The other thing about this weapon is that is it, it is a fire only weapon. You can't change it to anything else. So this weapon is only good against uh, yellow nature enemies. It is uh, average against everything else and terrible against water. So this uh, weapon is very generic. It looks really cool. It's got a you know nice nice feel to it. Uh, it has a very satisfying amount of impact on it. It's got a okay perk loadout. Uh, it's got a terrible 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 fifth perk and an even worse sixth uh, passive. Uh, the passive is just, just worthless. Uh, the fifth perk is pretty poor. Uh, the double attack speed is solid. The fire, not my favorite, but again, if you're going to go up against nature enemies, then this one is your, you know, fire is your best, best option for that. Uh, and then you've got, so you got double attack speed and damage. That's a, that's a good loadout, right? Two attack speed, one damage. That's a pretty solid, solid weapon build. Um, so this one is good enough but there are way better weapons in the game there are way faster attack speed weapons in the game there are weapons that actually have good passives instead of this total garbage passive um you even got you got weapons that have 100 percent useful abilities instead of three useful abilities one questionable ability uh stuck on fire and a completely worthless passive uh so i would say uh yeah dragon's fist is it good meh not really i don't want to say that this is garbage because it's not garbage but it is it's not great uh it's just a it's a very average weapon uh with a very poor passive and a very weak fifth perk. Am I being too easy on this? I don't know. I, I just think that all 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 weapons <clears throat> are fine, right? They're all average. If you were to god roll this weapon, would it feel amazing? Yeah. Yeah, this weapon would feel fantastic. If you were to god roll this weapon, uh, you'd walk around and just stomp everything. But you could say that with pretty much every single hammer in the entire game. If you god roll any hammer and you walk around with the double attack speed bonus on it, uh, you're going to walk around and it's going to feel awesome. So is this weapon awesome? Is this a good weapon? It's an average weapon. How does this weapon stack up against the best weapons in the game? <clears throat> you garbage. This is a piece of trash. Throw it right in the garbage can. If you have, uh, if you have a full selection of, of weaponry, this is going to be at the you know, at the who cares list. Like, I would never use this weapon in a million years. 
if not for a review. Uh, I have way, way better options than this. I've got way better options than this out of the classic set. I've got way better options than this out of the event store right now for daily coins. Uh, this weapon is a piece of trash compared to the options that pretty much anybody has. Um, will this weapon do fantastic at, at a, as a god roll? Absolutely. Absolutely. This is uh, against nature enemies. This, guy, this weapon will walk in and it will do tons of damage and it'll be perfectly fine. Um, <clears throat> but uh, looking at it through critical eyes, uh, being judgmental and being like, mm, you know, wanting the best of the best, this weapon doesn't even come close. Uh, this weapon is missing is is basically a a four and a half <laughs> I wouldn't even say four and a half you're stuck on fire you don't have a choice you have a stun staggered knockback again you don't have a choice um like that man I just just makes me sad like the fact that you have a have a, have a, a garbage perk and you have no option for changing it you've got a garbage passive you have no option to change it you've got a whatever a mediocre I mean if fire is fine there's nothing wrong with fire but you have no option to change it it's like this this weapon doesn't give you any choices uh, you have you have a perk here that it's like hey do you want to use damage or a bunch of other things that's not damage I'm like oh, obviously damage it's like what about these ones well they they're attack speed you have to take attack speed especially with this terrible terrible five this uh, passive where you gotta get five hits in a row. The only chance you're gonna get five hits in a row is if you double up on the on the attack speed. Not to mention attack speed is the best anyway. Gives you the uh, the biggest bonus when you're using hardy strikes in your tactical slot bonus for healing. You gotta attack as fast as you can to regenerate that health. So yeah, this this weapon doesn't give you any options with its build. It just is what it is, and you gotta roll with it. And it's very mediocre. It just it's not impressive. There are better options. Um, yeah. Dragon's Fist. Is it good? You garbage. Get out of my face. I'll never use this weapon ever again. Uh, if you have a god roll, it's going to be it's going to be a perfectly fine weapon against nature enemies and uh, and and that's it. That's it. You'll watch you, you'll you'll see the gameplay video uh, that I did for this video and I absolutely slaughtered everything like crazy, but honestly, that was more about Sid and less about this hammer. Uh, Truly, truly, there's no point in ever using a hammer unless you're using it on Sid in the first place. And if you're using a hammer on Sid, it almost doesn't even matter what you take. All you need is the fastest attack speed possible and maybe some crit rate. Uh, and you'll basically win automatically. Uh, if you're using this weapon, the uh, the best loadout that you can possibly do is uh, by far uh, Rock and Steel Wool Sid with uh, Guardian Bull for the extra crit rate. Uh, in the support slot and hardy strikes for the healing in the tactical slot you put these characters on and you rock this with the uh, with the with the hammer and uh, you pretty much you can't go wrong man the dragon's fist will walk through everything like it's butter uh, just like all the other hammers will uh, if you're using this on a different character uh, you're gonna have a very different experience because steel wolf Sid is the most dominant hammer character in the entire game uh, he just walks through things like they're not even there so even smashers can can stand up to him for maybe like five seconds. Well, not try three seconds. Uh, he just he steps on smashers like they're nothing, just juggling them around, doing insane damage. Just an absolute monster character. Okay, so the dragon's fist. This uh yeah, this is a nasty little weapon that comes out of the the Chinese New Year. Um, I want to say event, but this is not, it doesn't come out of the New Year's Llamas or the Chinese uh, New Year Lunar Llama. It actually comes from the event store. So, yeah, we're talking about this one today. It's kind of connected to the Chinese New Year. As you can see visually, it is definitely a Chinese New Year weapon. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this was a event store only purchase. This is the second time that it's been back. And uh, we're, we're going to show you just how crazy this uh, this weapon can be in the hands of the mighty Steel Wall Sid. I love this thing. Get slammed, man. Sid's so sick. This weapon by itself is uh, probably a completely unimpressive weapon. 
Um, the fact that it's fire means it's really only good against uh, against yellow nature enemies. But in the hands of Steel Wolf Sid, he's so powerful that uh, you're not really limited to uh, to the nature only stipulation. You can use a fire weapon against anything because you're so powerful <laughs> with your kinetic kinetic overloads that uh, you pretty much just explode anything. The only thing that really matters on steel wool is uh, how fast you swing. All right. See, there's nothing special about this weapon. It's just uh, a nice fast attack. Good weapon. Has got some decent knockback. You can knock back a, a blaster after two swings, which is, you know, fantastic considering this thing swings really fast with attack speed perks. Uh, this thing uh, has some uh, some interesting elements to it. See, I think it's funny. This uh, this is by no means a good weapon. Uh, I'm I'm not a fan of most of the. You know, most of what this this weapon brings to the table. I think the passive is extremely weak and extremely lacking. I think in anybody else's hands, uh, this weapon is pretty much garbage. Uh, <laughs> you have a passive that uh, that requires you to hit an enemy five times in a row in order to get an explosion, which is just nonsense. Like, wh what are you go like? What enemy are you ever going to hit five times? A smasher? That's about it. As you can see on St on Sid, nothing's going to survive that many swings. On average, um, Steel Wolf Sid's going to proc a kinetic overload every th within you know on average every three swings. So no enemy is going to live longer than three swings. <laughs> see, against nature enemies is like good night. This is if this character wasn't nasty enough, then you go and use a fire weapon against nature enemies and laugh. <laughs> Get smashed. I really like the what this weapon kind of looks like though. It's a it's a very satisfying, nice big cleave. Really cool looking swing. You're just like swinging a whole like a battering ram at the enemies. Thing's got some good crowd control. Anybody that does survive a hit from this thing gets pretty much KO'd immediately. They just stand there, stunned, waiting to die. Yeah, man, if you were going to use a hammer, this is the way to do it. Oh my gosh. Get wrecked. Every time you see that explosion, just everything dies. Let's do an alternate attack. Heavy attack. Go. Boom. 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 Yeah, there's no reason to ever use that ability. It's extremely weak. Maybe if you want to, like, knock an enemy backwards or something. That's the only downside with uh, Mr. Sid here. Is that uh, he doesn't have that closing, the, the, the gap closing speed that the ninjas have when I'm using my... My stats worth, so I love how this is not the ideal situation to be using the uh, the hammer. I'm not, I'm not fighting against yellow enemies, and it just doesn't matter because Sid's so strong. All that matters is you have a a weapon that attacks quickly. Every power is every hammer is is power in the hands of Steel Wolf Sid. You just give it pure attack speed, and uh, watch him just completely clean house. <laughs> All hammers are bad unless he's using them, and if he's using them, then they're god. He's the only hammer specialist in the game that's really truly worth using, because he's just so broken and so OP. His power is just unrivaled. Oh man, I love the character diversity in this game. Oh my gosh. The only thing that we're missing, honestly, is uh, an axe, like a barbarian, an axe character. We need to have an axe specialist. We have a hammer specialist. 
We've got a sword specialist. We've got a scythe specialist. We've got a spear specialist. Where is our axe specialist, bros? Come on. Give me Conan the Barbarian right now. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, like and subscribe. Leave a thumbs up and uh, comment down below if there's any other reviews you'd like me to cover. Catch you guys next time. So if you like this video, uh, come check us out on Twitch. Uh, we, we Twitch stream 15 to 24 hours a day, seven days a week, every single morning starting at 9 a.m. Uh, we'd really appreciate the support. Uh, we're working really hard to uh, grow the Twitch channel. So come and check us out. Come, uh, come help us grow and be part of Team Vash. Thanks, guys.